This is uh, my love letter to Arnold Schwarzenegger called Benefacted. Dear Arnold, that person hates Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Look, Terminator Genesis was a good film. I'll hear nothing else. Dear Arnold, it's tough being poor when you're a single mother with a taste for rubber, funding your own PhD on a poet nobody's heard of in a language nobody speaks, but now you have granted the soda stream, we can make as much champagne as we can manage. The seeds we need for our undernourished skin, we'll steal from Tesco, and the parmesan for our cut-priced tinned ravioli, we will cultivate between the toes of our children's fertile feet. This evening, in the name of Terminators 1 and 2, and Genesis, we will feast like queens. Last week it was not so easy. I was desperate for a cup of tea, but the new red kettle Jake had bought me to replace the crap one from Maxi and was acting exactly like a terrible lover. It kept on flicking its switch off before my water was close to boiling so that on three, maybe four occasions, I had to forcibly hold it down to keep it going. At times like that, <laughs> At times like that, I long for tobacco. But I haven't smoked since I broke up with Adam, for real this time. I needed to trust my resolve to be rid of him and needed to do something concrete as a sign of my commitment. Jewellery, I couldn't afford. And I knew I'd only pretend to like it, hide it in a cupboard awkwardly and eventually give it away to someone whose tastes I don't understand, perhaps even myself, without thinking. A secret Santa isn't the same when you work in isolation. It was just too much, so the cigarettes bit the dust instead, and now I am fully faithful to my mouth, but gagging to suck on something deadly again while I have my flashes of genius. I know you know distractions like red army herrings rear their heads. It's hard when you have to somehow get through all 937 pages of Trotsky's The History of the Russian Revolution if that sweaty, formerly home-educated 20-year-old you taught last year who wears tights underneath his ripped jeans in support of the proletariat will ever want to have sex with you when, at every third page, you alternately fall asleep or give in to your compulsion to masturbate so that every night is insomnia riddled in ripe sheets with fingers puckered more profoundly than a walker's deep-bridged crisp. But then, <laughs> you'll always be a bodybuilder first. And this is my curse, as a desperate woman who works predominantly from home. It's impossible to be discreet about one's feelings in the real world when the very sight of the beloved object makes you literally gut yourself with recyclables and the only advice your mother ever gives you is, well, Rose, you know what they say about people in your condition? Bound bitch jerks meat. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, we'd appreciate it if you could hit the like button, if you could hit the subscribe button, and make sure to ring that bell icon so you don't miss any updates from us in the future. If you want to go that extra mile and support us a little further, we do have a Patreon channel with loads of exclusive goodies, and you can sign up for as little as a dollar a month. We appreciate your help, guys, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.